Redrol stents are very commonly used in urology. We use them almost every day. Studies show that the longer you leave a stent in, the more likely it is to encrust. I have seen encrustation form within about two weeks, however. So it's just variable depending on the patient and their urine and the different types of uh, environment that they're in. So encrustation can form in a couple of different ways. One is through direct interaction between the crystals and the material itself. And the other one is facilitated through the attachment of what we call the conditioning film. For calcium oxalate based uh, encrustation, the, the sequence of events tends to be that the uh, stent gets placed, gets bathed in urine, urine components such as proteins and other compounds start attaching to the surface. Crystals that are already present within the, the urine due to the supersaturated medium will begin to interact with conditioning film components and bind to them. In areas where there's no conditioning film, the crystals will physically begin to interact with the surface itself and attach. And so you have these little areas of encrustation here and there, and what happens over time is that those little groups of crystals become a nidus for further growth because those crystals are bathed in the urine and that facilitates growth of the crystals and encrustation across the entire surface of the stent.